Welcome, Village, to another episode of Breakfast with Baba. I hope y'all had some great nourishment this morning. No, you do not see a plate in front of me as usual, but I will let you know. Hash browns was on point today. Waffles off the hook. Turkey bacon, eggs. Yeah, all nourished me this morning. What did you have? Put that down in the comments below, whether you're watching this live or whether you watch this later. Let us know what you nourished yourself with this morning because this is Breakfast with Baba. We want to make sure you break your fast correctly. And usually when we're talking about breaking a fast, we're not always talking about just physical, although that do count. We're also talking about the mental. Today, we're here to discuss some stuff that's been going down in the educational community, what has a lot to do with the mental. And that is the attempted destruction of critical race theory in the public school system. And really, it's the public's eye at large. Because what you're dealing with here is a breaking down of a system where people feel like they can get free. Now, let's break down, first of all, what is going on. You have governors in Idaho who have already banned critical race theory being taught. School boards have banned critical race theory being taught in their schools. You also have people running for Georgia's governor that are saying they will get rid of critical race theory as well. So this is just within this last week. So you see the lawsuits and the bans continuing to pile up on this critical race theory, but you have to ask yourself after that, what is critical race theory? And there are some tenets that go with this. Critical race theory is just the theory that race is critical to what happens to you in your life. Simple as that. Okay, we can get more complicated, but on a face value, that's it. They tell you right in that sentence, critical race theory. Let's work backwards. A theory. What's going on, Cameron Martin? I'll just say what's up real quick. Um, and if you ain't familiar with what's going on, we're talking about critical race theory and this attempted ban in the public schools by Idaho and Georgia. And what that means for people that's really, really trying to get free. So we just got into the definition and we were saying that the definition is in the name. Critical greetings. Absolutely. So critical race theory, critical race theory, working backwards, the theory of race is critical to your existence. Okay, that's the key. So that's what they attempted to ban in the public schools. So once again, Idaho and now Georgia is on the brink of trying to break that down. But let's talk about some tenets of what critical race theory means. One thing is that it talks about a system of white supremacy. If we're talking about race, we have to talk about politics and the dominant structure all the way down. So people have to layer things according to what they see. So people who are against this say that doesn't exist. There's no such thing as white supremacy, no such thing as white privilege. Those things do not exist. Everybody is up to their own self to pull themselves up at their bootstraps. So that's it. Rugged individualism. You are the only one that's responsible for where you are today. So it separates you from anything that is in your environment, whether it be historical, what's coming up in the future or what else is going on in your life. So the banning of this critical race theory also says political organization is not key for you getting free. The key for you getting free is begging for you some rights. And if you can get enough rights, then we can give you what we think that you need and you will be OK. I, 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 I. People who are proponents of critical race theory say that that is absolutely key to organizing, building institutions, building your own structures that you can go ahead and support what your ideals are. You have to have some strong ideals. What is going on, Rizzarelli? Glad to see you in here. Um, we just started on critical race theory and it's attempted ban in the public school system. So um, I know you probably have a lot to say on this as well. So we would love to hear um, some of your, your opinions on this. But basically what happened this last week is not only in Idaho have they attempted to ban critical race theory, also Georgia, they attempted to do the same. So we break, broke down what critical race theory was. Um, critical race theory, the theory of race is critical to your existence. That's it. 
And we had just got into some minor things about some tenets of what that is. So we had just got into the part where they were saying critical race theorists believe you must organize. You must build your institutions. You must surround yourself with other like minded people in order to build yourself up and build a mission with laser like focus to get what you need. OK, whereas the opponents of critical race theory say, no, all you need is all about human rights. We will give you the rights that you need. OK, we will allow you. We will grant you the ability to do X, Y and Z. No need to organize. No need to be political. Just ask us. And if we think it's OK, we'll give it to you. No, 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 no. OK, we've fallen for that before. We also talked about how they think that there is no such thing as uh, white supremacy. No such thing as white privilege. These things are fabrics of your imagination that you conjure up to support any belief that you might have. OK, so these are just some of the tenets, but they also go even further. OK, into some other areas. So break it down because it really comes out the theory of law and how law and politics affects everybody's everyday life. We touched on the uh, idea of rugged individualism. OK, everybody do their own thing. Don't worry about the person next to you. You can make it out if you just try hard enough. You don't need the community. That's that's nonsense. Only the people around you are your community. And if that is the case, then there will not be certain people at the bottom and certain people at the top. OK, so they want you to ignore all of that. And they do not want that being taught in the school system. OK, and they a lot of people even misunderstand what it is to begin with. People are being interviewed on this because it seems to be such a hot button topic right now that they seem to kind of stumble on themselves and just ask directly what it is. So you can see there's more of an agenda than it is actual information that's being dealt with. OK. People are attempting to push that type of thinking out and usher in a new form of thinking. Basically, they're trying to open your brain up, take it out, wash it real quick, okay? Rinse it out, <clears throat> put that mug back in, put the lid back on and let you go on about your way, okay? Turn you into an automaton. So we just want the family and the village to understand what the attempt is in a nice digestible way. So we didn't want to go too long and too deep into it, but we did want to break it down for anybody who was interested, because if you are sending your children to a public school and they are attempting to ban it, what can happen is, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, patriotic education is all they're going to get. So no matter what the country has done, it will always be viewed in a positive light. And only what they say goes, which is very, very close to a totalitarian state where you can't say anything against the power structure. You can't teach anything against the power structure. Or I shouldn't say even against, just not in support of, and you got a problem. So continue to organize, continue to nation build, continue to build institutions that support the ideals, the spiritual and the physical for you and yours, and you will not have any problem. People are attempting to ban those ideals like China. Thank you. And if you see what is going on, you see a lot of um, Chinese like social structures being implemented over here in the United States, such as the social credit score, such as the cashless society, such as the things that we just talked about banning anything, re-education camps, which are probably coming to And As a matter of fact, this is just one step removed from a re-education camp. You know, they basically put Muslims in those re-education camps. I think they're called Uyghurs out in China. And those uh, people who believe in Islam are re-educated basically until they can just no longer say anything against the government. And then they are released and they can go back into the world. So this is just changing the curriculum as a start to just changing the school. And here you go. So. That was some breakfast to digest. We usually keep these about 10 minutes, but if you want some longer form information, we definitely do uh, have a YouTube channel that you can check out where we talk about these issues in a little more depth. Um, or you can listen to us on Sister Beverly D show out of Detroit, which we do every once in a while. Just look up Sister Beverly D Spirit Radio and you will see all that come up. What is going on, Joe Wakila? Just wanted to say what's up. 
Um, we are wrapping up, and it was a fantastic discussion. Um, we talked about critical race theory and its attempted ban by the government, what that means for you, what that means for nature building, and what that means for education. So, uh, I have a Jedi Temple Jedi info. Oh, 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 really? Okay, we would love to hear. DM us, uh, Mr. Martin, 1537. Uh, we would love to hear that because, uh, as you can see, we are the Jet Institute of Learning, Jedi Learning. And just a couple of days ago, we had May the 4th be with you. But we know it goes way, way deeper than that. So hit us up. Hit us up. We definitely like to do some collabs and link up with you. So, once again, it's been a fantastic breakfast discussion. We hope you got your nourishment for the day. You can go out and use this info in your everyday life. You also had something good to eat to nourish your body. And now you got something good to nourish your spirit. I have my own indigenous nation with our own cryptocurrency called Nanami. I love it. Okay, we'll do. I love that. We just talked about um, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the possibility of using those to build your own um, ecosystem. So, man, uh, C. Martin, we would love to, to hit you. To talk with you so please do please do connect with us so glad everybody came through today once again this was breakfast with baba i am baba kentu clinical director of the jet institute of learning and we look forward to seeing y'all in the future so remember we're here to resurrect communities through superior education and anyone can learn to learn peace fam much love much love